Wrong track. My apologies. Hold on for a second. There we go. That's all I want to play. Not that track, but this one though. And please do not pick up your phones. <laughs> That's part of the track that I created. It's raining out here at 8.47, 24-7 Army Time, California. Got a little bit of rain happening right now on a Friday night. So beautiful. So ladies and gents, I do want to let you guys know that it's week 30 of the Business Minded Leaders, aka the Wolf Stand Post. Welcome to the show, I am your host, Q Moore, also known as Chinchilla Q, or DJ Skylo, of HipRockerProductionM.com, Midnight's Class So, aka The Lounge, Business Minded Leaders, aka The Wolf Stand. We about to get on with this podcast, which I was literally about to do on Christmas Eve. Then I'm like, nah, let me do it right now because I do not want to be on social media for the rest of this week. And I'm really being serious while I'm saying that too. I almost had said screwed in the podcast today only because a brother is burnt out from work. But I'm like, you know what? Since my social media sites are open right now, let me go ahead and do this so I don't have to worry about it. Um, I know it sounds kind of shady me saying it like that. I understand the fact, so I want to worry about forgetting on doing the podcast tomorrow or whatnot. So let's get down to business. It's sessions 144 to 148. So let's get down to it. For December 20th, I'm not mistaken. December 19th through the 23rd. Which, surprisingly, this week has went by pretty fast, ladies and gents. So, for December um, 19th, 2016, it was late post. Monday and Tuesday were both late posts. But I fall on Monday, I saw Star Wars Rogue One. It was a very good movie. For those who want to see, like, what happened to the death, to the death star plans and whatnot, and why it ties to number four, how far she to really see that movie. But on December 19th, 2016, Bless Mondays, as if they're clear at the fast lane, it only leads to destruction. The reason why I haven't made that post is for the fact that. To me, folks want to get in the fast lane trying to get rich. Not knowing that when you try to get that fast money, you crash easily. You have to go to the road that, to be honest, is not pretty. It's not the road that folks want to travel on. It takes time, but it molds you to be the person you need to be so you can have that wealth for many generations to come. And not just being rich. So for Tuesday, which is also we post December 20th, 2016, on the Grind Tuesdays, I saw on the other side of fear is great rewards waiting for you. This year is almost over, and folks are still afraid of doing things. Never be afraid to do things. You have to get outside the box. Trust. I was reflecting upon this year. Now, I might mention this again in the next podcast in a few weeks before the new year pops up. But I was reflecting on this year, and I was like, "Man, this year was kind of like during the running's like holiday time season's so been kind of crazy and things of that nature." And then I stopped myself and said, "Nah, this year has been pretty cool. It's like I actually." Went outside of California for the first time. <laughs> Went out to Vegas about twice. Not for fun, but more for a bit. You know what? A little bit of fun too. Seeing the homie and his wife and whatnot, kicking it with them. It was like the second family and whatnot. 
but more so of taking care of business and really seeing the future as to if I keep going at it at what I want to aim and go for that it could easily come to fruition just by hard work and dedication so just with that alone had made me say okay we can do this from that and just being persistent a whole lot of other things itself as you know like hey to other things in life that pop up that had your boys say what the F and things of that nature but you know what those what the F moments actually build you up to the character you need to be in so it's a trip life is a trip this year has been a trip for everybody I know I know we all came to this year like this gonna be our year we gonna do it and for some of y'all it is this has been your year and that's great for some of us, you know, it hasn't been our year just yet. And, you know, we just like, okay, cool. And now we're looking kind of old and raggedy and beat down like, what the? <laughs> you know, just keep pushing. So on December 21st, 2016, on official on Wednesdays, I said, time truly waits for no one. You can be 21 today and I'm turning 61 the next. Get a grip on your time get a hold on your 24 hours I talked about this before and we'll talk about it again on that following Wednesday and I kid you not I really envision myself saying what I'm about to say right now because I was going to do a podcast that Wednesday and I didn't do it for what I was about to talk about I was late to work on my way on my Monday back to work 48 minutes late I'm sorry 8 o'clock and gets my job around 8.48. To which I didn't care. Only because life goes on. The crazy thing is what I had. Because I think I had went to bed late that night. And so what my alarm clocks I had. Was you know was working. Actually my iPod. I think what I did was supposed to click in the top part. Put a sleep wake. I opened up the iPod. Um, you know, it was a menu, whatever, which actually shuts off the alarms. So, and plus I, plus I have my cell phone off and keep it off wherever I fall asleep, whatever. So, I'm, you know, folks will be calling me for distractions and things of that nature. Or I'll be on vibrate. And so, um, I didn't set the alarm clock for that. Because so I remember waking up, fall asleep, and getting up, and then, you know, try to rush out the house. My body was like, nope. You ain't rushing for nothing. Go use the restroom. Take your time. Whoa, 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 whoa. And so I think I, I think we was about to get out on time. I looked at my um, watch. It was like five fifty-five. Whatever. I'm like, like, okay, man, I might be able to make it. Then turn six ten. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and then I, have, you know, gotta take a little plug of transportation to my job a whole lot quicker, whatever. So. I went and tried to do that. I was looking at around the time, and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe we did for a mission or a bus, whatever, things of that nature. But what hit me was the time frame. Actually, what happened with that time was that we used to get up, I used to go like around 525 or whatever. So I remember looking at my pods at 526, and then all of a sudden, 610. I'm like, how the hell did that jump that quick? And then I think that following Wednesday was kind of awkward because, like I said before, you really cannot wait on time. Because time really does not wait on nobody. Time will continue to go. You could be at your job, work your behind off on do whatever you're doing. Lunch time comes, you try to supposedly get a break. You don't get a break. Your lunch goes quicker than what you do when you be working at a job that you hate. So, I really do feel that there's some spiritual aspects that go along with that that truly affects time and things of that nature and how we don't really pay attention to time management and to it. And so, it's just crazy when you really stop and think like, wow, like time really is pushing. Like, when you really 
take a look at 2016. 2016 has truly went by fast. To be honest, the first couple of months, as normally when it happens, this is how it happens. It's just first couple of months, it goes by pretty slow. You know, you be in January, February, March, April, between late May, early June, mid June, early July. Actually, between late and mid May and early June, when summertime hits. That is when um, time just go by pretty quick. And it's crazy because when time does really go by pretty quick, it, it just really makes you say what in the H really happened. And then you just looking up like, damn, the next thing you know, you're looking up your birthday is here. Then next thing you're looking up, this is happening, and this is happening, and a whole lot of other fence is happening. And to be honest, you start looking at the world around you, the world around you is moving quick and you move slow. That's kind of scary because it's like you try to catch up, but you can't really fully catch up. Not till you really awaken, and then you start catching up. So ladies and gents, get a hold of your time. I know you hear folks say time management, this time management, that. And I also know too, for a fact, that God will really redirect some things in your time. Just got to talk to him as to how he wants you to monitor your time. Because you guys can hear me say it, but I'm telling you right now. Ask God as to how you can monitor your time the right way. So you won't feel like it's if you're wasting it. Straight up. Daily Tip Stir says it's December 22nd, 2016. Two words. Keep going. Keep going for your dreams and your ambitions. Keep going for what it is that you want out of life. Keep going and striving for greatness, especially for your family. Keep fighting. Wherever you are fighting, do know you'll come out top a winner. Don't give up. You got to keep going, especially in this world that we're living in right now, which is just very chaotic. So keep going straight up. And so, ladies and gentlemen, with the end of this podcast, you guys can tell I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I keep it real on my podcast. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I said it before a long time ago. So, on today, December 23rd, I was 16, Boss said it's Friday's. I said, enjoy your Christmas this week, ladies and gents. Remember, it's not about the gifts. It's more so having your family. That should always matter. I made that post this morning. It was actually supposed to be worded different, but I had forgot it. <laughs> what I was going to say. So that had came to my mind for the second part of it. And basically, and I did want to talk about this today. We'll talk about it tomorrow, but I said, no, let's we'll talk about it today. And basically, I'm going to say it like this. You have to remember that during this holiday season, actually, screw the word holiday, this Christmas season, which for the past couple of years has not really felt like Christmas to most of us. I have told some of my coworkers today, we came to agreement that it really does not feel like it, like it did back in the 90s and early 2000 things. I truly believe it's due to the economy and due to our politicians. No offense to them, but they, you know, them and just the world around us, which is so much bullshit and strife and things of that nature that just really hits. And at the same time, we're in the age of technology where basically mostly everybody has most of the stuff like when you really look at it back in the day guess really wasn't you know i'm not playing more music i'm just keep it like this we'll go keep it real right now when you really look back in the day i mean really truly think about it it really wasn't about the electronic gifts and things of that nature and cell phones and shit back in the late